Hello and welcome to the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Shogun Mohammed. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable of good wishes to French President Emmanuel Macron, marking the victory of the French candidate, Miss Audrey Azoulay, as Director General of the United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization. His Majesty underlined the deep relations between the two countries and the two friendly peoples, as well as the development and growth they're witnessing, wishing President Macron good health and happiness, and the people of the French Republic further progress and investment. His Majesty the King sent a similar cable to Miss Audrey Azoulay. His Majesty wished Miss Azoulay every success in her duties with the organization. His Majesty also referred to Miss Azoulay's status and expertise in this field, which will contribute to raising the level of cooperation between the countries in the fields of education and culture. He stressed the depth and history of the cooperation between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the UNESCO. The Minister of Information Affairs, Ali bin Mohammed al rumehi hailed the patronage of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa of the Bahrain International Defense Exhibition and Conference 2017, which will be held from October 16th to 18th and is considered one of the military and regional exhibitions that reflect Bahrain's status as an active partner in achieving peace, safety, and global security, and an influential country in the international coalition to combat extremism and terrorism. During his visit to the Bahrain International Exhibition and Convention Center's Media Center to check the preparations and arrangements for the event's media coverage, he expressed thanks for the efforts of Bahrain Defense Force Commander-in-Chief, Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, and Royal Guard Commander and Member of the Supreme Defense Council, His Highness Brigadier Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, in unifying and coordinating national efforts to contribute to the success of this event, which will be attended by a number of regional and international military and diplomatic figures. He also pointed out the ministry's keenness to cooperate with the BDF to provide the necessary media and technical facilities to enable an the local and international media to cover this international event and affirmed the ministry's readiness to provide a comprehensive television, radio and news coverage of the event. Erumeh has said that the ministry has completed its preparations to cover the exhibition and conference to broadcast it through television and radio channels, its news agency and social media networks. He also stated that the ministry will provide a live broadcast of the event, satellite trucks and studios at the Bidec to broadcast live television programs in the morning and evening periods and various programs in addition to more than 200 media and technical staff to cover the international exhibits. Bahrain will also host the Middle East Military Alliances and Coalitions Conference alongside the exhibition from October 16th to 17th. Ministry of Youth and Sports Affairs, Assistant Undersecretary for Sports and Facilities Affairs, Khalid Al Hajj conducted an inspection visit to Khalifa Sports City Arena, in which the Amateur Mixed Martial Arts International Championship will be held. The championship will be organized by the Sports International Federation in cooperation with Bahrain Mixed Martial Arts Federation and His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa's media office under the patronage of the personal representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, and Chairman of Bahrain's Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa. The visit reflected the organizing committee's keenness on ensuring the arena's full preparation for the event. The Kingdom of Bahrain welcomes the strategy announced by President of the United States of America, Donald J. Trump, in his speech, in which he expressed that Iran is the world's leading sponsor of terrorism. The Kingdom also welcomes the steps announced by President Donald J. Trump on how to deal with the Iranian nuclear agreement, including the imposition of sanctions on the Iranian Revolutionary Guards. Bahrain stresses that this stance is a confirmation and a reminder to the global community of the importance of combating terrorism and all those who support it to make our region and the world more peaceful and stable. The Kingdom lauds the policy of President Trump and his keenness to prevent chaos and counter Iran's attempts to promote terrorism, affirming that Bahrain is one of the countries most affected by the expansionist policy of the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps which aims to undermine the security of our societies by promoting and supporting extremist ideas and destructive acts of terrorism which are unacceptable and cannot be tolerated. The Kingdom reiterates its support for all efforts aimed at preventing Iran from obtaining nuclear weapons and to combat Iran's sponsoring and supplying of weapons to extremist militias in the region. The Kingdom also stresses the need for Iran to respect the sovereignty of its neighbors and to adhere to international law and norms.
very good evening. You're watching the business news on Bahrain International with me, Mohamed Youssef. Bahrain All Share Index closed this week with 25,138,797 shares worth 4,978,973 Bahraini dinars conducted through 482 transactions. Investors traded in 20 companies, 8 witnessed a rise in shares, 6 fell and the rest maintained their shares. The investment was the leading sector and the commercial bank came in second. Eagle Health DR, developer of urban waterfront project Marasi al-Bahrain, announced the signing of an agreement with Amar Entertainment to bring a mind-blowing family entertainment center to the kingdom. The 13,200 square meter center marks the first major leisure and entertainment attraction by Amar Entertainment in the Gulf Kingdom. It's set to become the largest entertainment element of any mall in the country. It will include an underwater zoo and will be the first such aquatic attraction in Bahrain. It will also include an eco-friendly mountain climb situated on the rooftop of Marasi Galleria with natural sun rays and jungle atmosphere plus a nature-themed dining area.